piece to the fan. Let me make sure this is nice and clear. Hold on. And for you guys to come in. Now, one thing I wanted to tell you guys before I get started is that it's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. One thing I want to tell you guys before I get started is that, yo, the grass is greener where white folks was out. <laughs> nah, let me stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me stop. But yeah. Cash is king, credit is queen. We playing chess. When we talking about credit, we talking about playing chess. That's what we talking about. Real talk. <clears throat> Peace of the family. You know, I got to make everybody worry. Yeah, I'm finally off my Miami vibe. That's another conversation. That's a whole another conversation. But peace of the family. While wow, we at peace of the family. Yeah, I want to talk to you about cash being king and credit being queen. Cash is king and credit is queen. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> the grass is greener, though. Hold on. Before we get that going, let me show you how green this damn grass is, man. Shit. I ain't been here so long. Messing around with crazy-ass Miami. And I'm turning up every week. It's too quiet over here. I'm about to go back out there. Way too quiet out there. Way too quiet. I like being right on that bridge all the way down there. I don't know if you can see it. Boom. <clears throat> but yeah, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's stop playing games. It's cash is king, credit is queen. And we talking about how credit, the credit world or paradigm is no more than a game of chess electronically. We talking about playing chess. That's what we talking about. We talking about playing chess. So what does this mean? Well, I'll tell you what this means. When you play chess, the king. When you play chess. Oh shit. Hold on. Hold on. When you play chess, the king can only move one step at a time. True story. The king can only move one step at a time. One step at a time when you play chess. But the queen can move several steps at a time. So the king can get you from point A to point B, from point B to point C, but can't take you from point A to point D, but the queen could do that right or wrong. We're going to go to the PDF. We're going to go to the PDFs on this one. Hold on. We're going to go to the PDFs on this one. Oh, no. Hold on. That's a different, different research. That's something coming for y'all in the future. But let me get off of that. Almost left the cow out the back. This is what we're dealing with right here. Let me see something. Baby girl, you still watching this TV out here? Or you good? All right. I got you. We gotta do this live stream. I don't know, but I gotta. <laughs> shit, shit, shit out. He ain't get the work done. <clears throat> You need to get your credit right, damn it. <clears throat> so yeah, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number. Your full name and your phone number. When you're interested in purchasing the, the course, it's $225. 
I'm looking for. Where the heck is it? Oh, I'm tripping. You know, sometimes you stare at a remote for so long, you don't know where. Nothing's at. So used to not really watching TV. I don't know how to use a remote. <coughs> okay. Let's close this, this guy up. Okay, y'all. So watch this. So we, we talking about we talking about cash being king and credit being queen. And when we play on the chess board, what takes place when we're on the chess board? Well, when we're on the chess board, we come to terms with the fact that we can make an incredible analogy. And this is what I talk about in the course. We can make an incredible an incredible analogy. And this incredible analogy would be the fact that we can liken the king to cash, because cash is king. And we can liken the queen to credit. Cash can get you from point A to point B. Point B to point C. You could lose your king or you could lose your cash. But the game will still go on. The credit plays such a that if you lose your queen, the game is over. <clears throat> Not only that, you have more diversity with that which you can do. As far as moves that can be made with credit. With cash, it's a one-step linear. You can't even two-step with cash. You can run out of cash, but as long as you got great credit or and or lines of credit, you can still play this game. You still can make moves. You, you still got moving parts because there's several moving parts to credit. <clears throat> so all the other pieces are pretty much an appendage. Now, the king is important, but he's only reflecting where you would like to go on a microcosmic scale in contrast to the queen. Yo, it feels good to be able to go left when I want, go right when I want, go diagonally when I want, forward when I want, backwards when I want. But you can move unlimited when you got your credit right. So we got to get the queen right. So cash is king, undoubtedly. But credit is me. <clears throat> yeah, it's brother P O L I J H T forty five at gmail dot com. Let me write it for you. <clears throat> okay. So I wrote it right there. You leave your name and your number. You're interested in purchasing the course. So here we go. We got something right here. We're going to show you something right here. This is the what? Checks Systems. Checks. Now, this is a company that works with the bureaus. To have you judge, come up with scores that impede on your ability to receive larger lines of credit, larger credit lines, or be approved the loans. Simply because of the type of banking transactions that transpire. So your overdraft fees, the amount of money you leave in your account from one month to the next. The amount of activity or inactivity, this is being used against you. So you got to communicate with these people. Because one, you don't really want to be subject to that. And two, if we want to take it to another level, this is the template for it. <laughs> this is the template for it. Okay. No, I'm no longer in Miami, fam. So this is the template for it. But if we want to go another level, then what we're going to do, we're going to go to LexisNexis and let them know we don't even want that type of stuff to be considered because what they're doing is just like you have a credit... <coughs> Let me see. I'm just trying to use a different internet. Just like you have... Just like you have a credit utilization rate or utilization ratio, they attempt to create a banking utilization ratio. That's not fair. So what this means is you're being judged for the percentage of monies that you're using for your bank account like you get judged for using the percentage of the credit allotted to you when you have a credit card. And that's not fair. And the average person, because we know only 5% of Americans have wealth, 
being that only 5% of Americans have wealth, we know that outside of that 16,350,000 people, you know what I'm saying? We know that over 200 million people, their income to expense ratio is very disproportionate or kind of polarized in the sense that the amount of money you have to use to pay your bills versus the amount of money you make per month leaves you with not enough money to comply with a 15 to 30 percent utilization ratio this says that if you're going to judge me based on my bank account then i'm de it's inevitable i'll never be approved for a significant loan because checks systems is reporting to credit bureaus my bank account activity and it's being used against me as though it's a credit card when it's my bank account so you come up with this template and you send this out to let them know you do not want that type of data being used against you. So that goes with Lexus Nexus. But the bureau that's dealing with or the company that's communicating this data to the bureaus is checks with the X systems. So you got to get in tune with this information. Remember, it's always brother polite 45 at gmail.com. Okay, these are things you need to know. Those are some of the working templates that we have. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's go. Now, here we go with another situation. This is credit clandestiny. Clandestinity. Okay. We're talking about clandestine, ultimately. That which is clandestine. Now, what is this about? Well, I want you all to realize, I wrote here, two people have the same negative item on their report. The person with the highest score has more points taken off than the person with the lowest score. Think about this. I really want you to. I really want you all to think about this. I say you must have knowledge of the scoring system in order to put up a fight. Now, if two people have the same infraction, why are they taking more off the score for a person who has a higher score than they do for the person with the lowest score? Well, it's evident, and this my source is FICO, just so you know I'm not making this up. It's very evident. The goal is to make sure you don't get to 800. So they put a cushion there at 780. The goal is to make sure you go under 680 because under 680 is where it's hard to get the right type of privileges because credit is a class system. OK, it's a it's a system predicated upon privilege. You can covertly employ a class system through the guise of credit where some people are not privy to what other people are privy to based on scores. So let's say you max out your card. Let's say you max your card out and you have a 680 credit score. The penalty is 10 to 30 points off. That's important to know. 10 to 30 points off. And let's say you have a 780 score and you do the same infraction. You max out your card. Same type of card and everything. Your score goes down 25 to 45 points. So you see they take off more points if you have a higher score for the same thing if you have a lower score. And this is the case in every instance. Look at bankruptcy. You'll lose 130 to 150 points off your score if you have a 680 score. But if you have a 780 score, they're going to take off 220 to 240 points. Look how that works. <laughs> These guys are nuts. Over 100 more points in this scenario right here. Almost. Okay? So they're taking 90 points off. <laughs> the person who has the highest score has more to lose. That's supposed to be logical, but it's not. But the logic behind it, the reasoning behind it is the goal is to get you in the 680 echelon under because that's where you get the least amount of privileges. If you can go 680 above, now you're in the abode of privileges. You just, you just have more options at your disposal the second you're over 680. So they're going to take more away from you when you're at a 780. 
credit score and, and up. So if you got a 30-day late payment, they'll bring your score down 60, 80 points. But if you have a 780 credit score, they'll bring your score down 90 to 110 points. How about that? Okay. Debt settlement, foreclosure. Look at the foreclosure. For foreclosures, if your score is 680 and under, they're going to take away 85 to 105 points. But for the foreclosure, for someone who has 780 as their credit score, they're going to take away 140 to 160 points. I hope you guys are walking with me. Press 9 if you're walking with me. This is from the PowerPoint from the new session. Everybody should have the session. Everybody that's in the course should have the session. Thank you, Luis. Everybody that's in the course should have the session. Yes, it's $225. Discounted rate. I don't know if I pinned it. Let me pin it. Brother Polite 45, you leave your full name and number. Boom. Okay, it's pinned. <laughs> yeah, so you got to know what I teach about or what I did today, I was breaking down what makes your score goes up and what makes your score go, in, go down. If you were to make a transition from a not so good community based on the median income and you were to start receiving your mail specifically by certain venues, maybe FedEx or UPS or what have you, not USPS, then what a transpire is, what will happen is you will be able to boost your credit score just by setting up a mailing address and or office address at a highly reputable school district, low crime area, right? Highly reputable school district, low crime area where the average income is over $150,000 a year. Inside of two to three months, just having a mailing address or office address in that area will boost your score in or around 50 points after two to three months. You got to know. Soft inquiries won't lower your score. Soft inquiry is you checking your credit score. Just don't do it as much. But, you know, you can check your credit score. It's a soft inquiry. Hard inquiries like applying for credit cards or <clears throat> loans, that'll take as much as 10 points off your credit score for hard inquiries. So you need to know the game. Because if you apply for a job, you might need to use one of those 609 letters or the LexisNexis letter to make sure that employers can do hard inquiries on you when you're just applying for a job. Otherwise, every time you apply for a job, they'll take in or around 10 percent 10 points off your score. <clears throat> well, you go out there, yo, I done applied for 15 jobs. I'm not lazy. Can anyone say 15 times 10? Now, all of them are not going to be, all hard inquiries are not 10 points off. You'll be in or around the range of 10 points off. So, we talk about fixing our credit score. We talk about boosting our credit score. Because <clears throat> you're working with me, we also talk about adding positive items to your report. Like getting a landline. Okay. Getting a landline to put you somewhere between two five percent more points, or uh, two two or five more points on your score, depending. Okay, you get a landline, you, you can say, "Man, that's five points right there." You set up your melon address properly. Wow, that's fifty points right there. You be mindful if you're applying for a job to make sure they're not doing hard inquiries. You ask them if they're doing soft inquiries. You communicate uh, with LexisNexis and you send them the affidavit. Or the letter template that I have for you, you mail it out, register mail, green card receipt, signature confirmation to ensure that those things are not used against you. <clears throat> Real talk. Okay, because now you're more in control because you're more cognizant. Now you're a master of your destiny. I'm definitely going to keep this safe, family. Now you're a master of your destiny because you're more cognizant 
of the nuances. You're more cognizant of the particulars. If you don't know what they're taking points off of and you don't know what they're adding points for, then how can you maintain it properly? How can you maintain great credit if you don't even know what they take points off of and how much? <laughs> so all you know, yeah, I just keep paying my life, I keep paying my gas. But you don't know exactly what, how much points they take off if you're late. And what is the criteria for being late? And if you're going to be late to pay somebody, call the creditor first. And let them know, I'm going to be late. I can foresee. Don't be like the person who's driving and everybody's waiting for them. And they wait five minutes before everyone's anticipating their arrival to say they're going to be two hours late. Don't do that with your credit. Don't know that you're going to be late two weeks ahead. And say nothing until two weeks after. Say something before you're late. Yo, it looks like I'm going to be a little late. They'll, they'll give you a grace period and say, we won't render nothing onto your credit. And if they don't say it, speak with them and say, yeah, I want to make sure you don't render nothing onto my credit. Can I work out an agreement with you? I'm going to be a little late. I'll pick it up next month or I'll pick it up in the middle of the month. And don't say nothing that sounds good that you can't fulfill. Say what you can do in your lowest estimate and then exceed expectations. You buying a house, you, you're... you're Applying for some kind of financing, always spend more than 22% down. Always put more than 22% down. It's always a numbers game. Whether it's holistic or wellness we're talking about, or if it's credit, it's always about math. It's always about math. And if you don't do the math, you always lose. Always. Not sometimes. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yes, it is. It's master course. The master course is $225, discounted rate. All you got to do is email brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Pardon me, people, because sometimes people uh, come in late. You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. And you leave your full name and your number. You purchase the course. The course also entails teaching you about real estate taxing, taxing, insurance. We got a wellness class we're going to be doing called Holistic Mathematics. And then we also got the course. Okay, so those templates, those 33 templates are there for you. I have plenty of free online classes where I literally read the whole template. For those of you who couldn't afford it, I just read the whole damn template. I literally have online classes I did recently where I tell you, get your landline. Look, set up your mailbox over here. Also get you a registered email address. Also get you registered email. Why? Because it makes it easier when you join the course anyway that you got that stuff set up. It doesn't bother me. Some people got upset like, yo, you're giving this information out, but I paid for the course. So why don't you wait till you get the lessons in the course so you can differentiate? Don't get mad. Because some people just got to get off the ground and get the ball rolling and be motivated. So I just give that information out. But there's plenty of information that we have to dissect. So let people eat. It's not that deep. If they get some free information, I got plenty of information available in the course. The course that you took today, a lot of information is there. Those of you who are reviewing it or have seen it already, there's a lot. And if you're in my course, let the people know. It's a lot of information. If I'm giving you this much information for free on a strength, it's only because I need to get as much of it out as possible so I don't miss nothing. So even if you pay for the course, you should still look this up. Still look at these free classes. Don't look at these free classes and undermine it. <clears throat> so, like I said, pay attention to this. The goal is to make sure you stay away from next gen. Next gen is when you over 800. You're about to peak at the highest you can get in the credit score. 680 is where they want you at under. Because that's when you start getting the least amount of privileges. When you're over 680, that's when you start being privy. That's why I said credit is a class system. And it's also the chessboard because cash is king and credit is queen. Because with cash, you can move from one step to the next, one by one. The king, you can move one step from point A to point B, from point B to point C. From point C to point D, from point D to point E. That's cash. That's the king. He can move like that on the board. He can go any way he wants in increments. But the queen can go the same, can pull the same moves. 
but in a more extravagant manner. She don't have to move from point A to point B. She can say, I'm going from point A to J. That's it. She could move like that. Okay, so money can't get you to move from one point to the other. But credit would get you to go do the hurdle. You ain't gonna do no hurdles with no cash like you would do with some credit. It's a fact. So cash is king, credit is queen. And that's how we gotta deal with credit. We gotta look at it like we're on a chessboard. Okay? Somebody asked it to pull the template back up. Yeah, that was Lexus Nexus that we did. That's correct. Let's see. Check Systems. Check Systems is the company that's over there sending your bank account information to credit bureaus to let them know how much money you keep in your account and if you overdraft. And sometimes the bank overdrafts you and they say, my bad. But they don't say my bad on the credit report. And that's why you got to go to check systems and say, yo, fam, listen, I received a copy of my check systems record and I have found several inaccuracies in the report. But hold, hold up. How many of you even went out your way to get a copy of your check systems record? You got to do that. You got to see what kind of bank account data they're using. And you got to call them on it like, yo, hold up. That's wrong. I didn't deserve all those overdraft fees. Oh, that's wrong. The bank removed some of those overdraft fees. Or oh, three, some of that information is uncalled for. And hence the reason you have the Nexus Lexus data or template so you can mail that in as well. So first, you got to look at your check systems, C-H-E-X systems. Okay, you have to look at your check systems record first. That's what you got to do first. After you review it, you then start disputing. I don't give a damn what you see on there, right or wrong. You take the course, you're going to understand. The next class, we're going to talk about how to dispute. And why to dispute, even if it's true, to get that stuff out of there. But who would have thought that they using your bank account against you? Well, you thinking, oh, credit is all about just paying my phone bill, my light bill, my gas, my utility, my mortgage, my rent. Now, I should be pretty straight if I keep all that clean, not knowing your bank account being used against you. In the worst way, because like I said, they are judging you as if you're supposed to have an account utilization ratio. They're treating your account like it's a credit card where you have a credit utilization ratio that I teach. You don't want to go past 15 percent and you want to use the card at least seven times. I leave it here so you can read the template yourself in detail. You recorded that I had non-sufficient funds with the name on the bank or around the date. I am disputing this record because I believe it to be inaccurate. Please request evidence of this. I don't resolve outstanding negative record from the bank and investigate this item for me. I understand that your repository is required by law to begin an investigation for me because you are a credit reporting agency and must follow the Fair Credit Reporting Act. I await your results. A lot of times they ain't going to do it. They got to deal with so many people. They say, listen, we cheating so many Negroes out there. We cheating so many people in general out there. Let's just move this from the record because we ain't got no time to be doing this. And everybody be doing this. It's ridiculous. Let's just get this guy out of here. But I'll show you how to really tighten it up. If you're walking with me, press 9. If you're walking with me, make sure you press 9. Okay. Word. So that's how the game go. Yes, brother polite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your number. And I'm rocking. We ready to go. And we're off. <clears throat> Let the horse race begin. <laughs> yeah, real talk. Whew. Thank you. Just making sure y'all walking with me. This is one. Subject matter, I realize I don't be seeing that much comments. I suck. That's why sometimes like, yo, let me know if you're walking with me. Normally, it's comments in the middle of me talking and everything. I see y'all focused. Y'all locked in. <laughs> y'all reading every damn thing. That's probably what's going on. I got y'all. Thanks for putting the nines in there. I just wanted to make sure you walk with me. And if I saw a question in there, 
if you got a question, please ask. I wish I could bring you guys in. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably do an Instagram live and talk about credit and, and get it in. <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm gonna go on Instagram live and do a little 10 minute something or something. Yeah, but thank you guys. Yeah, y'all locked in for sure, Teddy Joyner. I see it. Rod Hinton, I see it. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the live. Peace all set. Yeah, yeah, definitely, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, long time, long time. Michelle, peace. What is the reason for using the card at least seven times? <clears throat> That's a good question. Who wrote, who asked that question? Mansour Ali. Okay. My Instagram is brother underscore P-O-L-I-G-H-T. Brother underscore P-O-L-I-G-H-T. Pride, optimism, love, integrity, gallant, honesty, and trust. P-O-L-I-G-H-T. <clears throat> Definitely could do that. You just, okay, you just hit me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Consultations, you know, it's two hundred dollars an hour, three hundred dollars in person. By the hour, I will send you some questions upon payment, and you give me the answers. And in my evaluation, we'll create a curriculum that caters specifically to your interests and needs. And in doing so, we're able to optimize the experience, so we won't take away from your time. So when I'm able to make that evaluation, when I get on the phone, I got to ask you the obvious. We go straight to work, and I can give you some suggestions and some guidance. <clears throat> You walking with me? Word. So now, family asks, Mansoura Ali asks, what's the purpose of using the card around seven times? I'll tell you. Many people say, yo, Polite, you can use the credit card at least, you can use 30% of the money that they give you on the credit. What Brother Polite says, if they give you $5,000, you're using 15%. The letter of the law. I say these things to get the results that I'm aware of per experience. I don't say these things based on the standard from the information that's out there from people that winging it. Okay? Because one thing I always say is you cannot fake success. Eventually, you have to come down. Eventually, someone's going to say, yo, I live right next to him. Yeah, his children's elbows is ashy and it ain't really what it is. He live in the projects. At some point or the other. But you see, people like Metal World Peace can say, yeah, Polite lives like two blocks down from me. Millionaires can say, Polite lives two blocks from me. Floyd can say, yeah, he lives in Beverly Hills and I live in Beverly Hills. Mayweather. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, there's a point where enough is enough. And what I'm telling you is, we've been doing things the wrong way because we are attempting to save dollars instead of utilize credit. That's the problem. So to answer the question, first of all, I want you to understand you need to have a 15% credit utilization ratio. And provided you do that, you're going to use your credit card at least seven times with that 15% credit utilization ratio. Now, am I going to tell you you're wrong if you use 30% of the credit? No. But that's, that's peaking at the threshold because some agencies don't like that so some don't like 30 percent stay with 15 don't try to use the big don't attempt to use the biggest ratio utilization because you got to be in this for the long haul so you got to have patient money this is chess not checkers you can't be thinking one move ahead then that person go move and hope that i can put two stack two checkers again on top of each other no it's not like that you got to protect the queen at all costs. Protect the credit at all costs. And you'll have plenty of access to play again. Okay? So you want to use it seven times because if I'm only using 15% of my credit and I manage to use that credit line at least seven times, it shows this person can manage, in this example, $5,000 credit. 15% of that, $750. So in this particular model, this person manages to only use $750 out of the $5,000 allotted to them. And they use it consistently enough without going over the top. What they'll do is use this history, and you can use this history to leverage 
your utilization rate into getting into conversations for revolving line of credit. So you want revolving lines of credit. The problem is you have slim files instead of full files. So slim files are when you don't have much credit history. And some people think they got a full file because they have the obvious. <clears throat> Light, gas, and utility. It may be rent checks. But that's still a slim file. So first of all, the reason why you're not being approved for six figures, the reason why you're not getting a black card is because you don't have a full enough file credit-wise. You haven't done enough things. You haven't diversified your portfolio enough to say, yo, this person's in the game. You don't have enough activity. Now, too much activity is a problem if you're overspending. But a lot of activity spending in small amounts in retrospect to a ratio of 15%. Oh, no, you can spend quite often. So a minimum 7 to 15 times on a credit card, staying within the confines of 15% as far as the credit utilization ratio, that puts you in great position to later on get revolving lines of credit because they'll say if this person has the discipline to maintain 15% of 5,000, then we can give them a revolving line of credit, which is when you're able to access it, pay it back, and keep the same line of credit, access it again, pay it back. So you want to do this for the long haul. You want your $5,000 to be responsible for you getting 50000 or 150000 it's only 225 one time. You don't have to pay per month. Okay, and it's made up of six different classes. But I might add an extra class or two. It just the credit thing is very tedious a task because there's so much I want to share and I compartmentalize the information. The last class I just did was an hour. And then I'm just doing this so some information is recurring for people. And then if I answer questions, I could probably cover something that maybe I didn't say. So that's why I do this as well. So it's not monthly at all. It's one payment and you're good. But I, I do the classes often on the weekend. I did one this last weekend. The stream uploaded to the cloud and I wasn't able to access the damn cloud. So those people that saw it live got it and the rest couldn't get it because once the glitch started happening, it was a wrap. Nonetheless, everyone has it now. I made sure of it. So everyone has it. That's part of the community that's doing their thing. <clears throat> No, you don't have to pay monthly. So please don't say that. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, fam. I'm just reading what they're saying. Thank you for confirming what I'm saying is factual appreciate that so yeah oh it's all good man sir ali i saw the question thank you for asking so yeah you want to be consistent now you can use 20 percent, but what i would do is have you use 20 percent strategically and calculatively because that means remember what we said we only want you to have about two credit cards and you want to make sure that you have a balance transfer option on both credit cards and should you go over 15%, should you go over $750 out of $5,000, just using $5,000 as an example, okay, we can use $1,000, and then your credit utilization ratio will be at 15%, that of the $1,000, which will give you $150, right? So let's say you have a $1,000 spending limit, you start, you're just getting into the game, just starting to play this chess, you got to protect the queen at all costs, but you want to spend in, let's say, let's say you bought the cost at $225, you got a $1,000 limit on your credit card and you know your threshold or your credit utilization ratio stipulates that you don't spend more than 15% that of the $1,000, which gives you $150. So then what you're going to do is say, well, I just spent $75 more. You're going to allocate the $75 or maybe even $80, but you're going to allocate $75 over to the other credit card. By doing so, you show that you're able to make conscientious decisions, intelligible decisions as a consumer. And what they'll do, you'll, you'll move up 10 points plus for that behavior when, it's proper, when they can properly contextualize 
This person uses the card over seven times, stays within the 15% radius. When they did go over, <clears throat> they used a balance transfer option, which they most likely asked for. They don't do this often, but the fact that they did, they're disciplined enough to make sure they didn't go over, obviously, 15%, which seems to be their marker, seems to be their ceiling. They look at all of that, and that behavior not only opens up the door for you to get revolving line of credit, it gives you 10 more points. Ding! So you do it calculatively. So maybe you use your balance transfer option every two months, but every month you stay at least seven times within the 15% threshold minimum. See, these are, these are strategies you got to be thinking about throughout the month. <clears throat> these are strategies you see now when people say yo I thought it was this I thought this is what I'm telling you there's no need for me to go in another direction about somebody else's speculation you take the course everybody's situation is pretty unique granted what kind of debts if they got student loan if they got mm -hmm. child support whatever the case is but the fact mm -hmm. of the matter is <clears throat> the fact of the matter is this you should be inside of a one month, month and a half, two month window in most instances, if not lesser it depends how soon you apply the information I teach you apply the information I teach and you say Yo, I'm going out there, I'm setting up my registered email I'm setting up my, my uh, mail inbox, I'm getting my landline I'm getting my secure card and making sure I got two there. I'm telling them I want the balance transfer option. If you're following all these instructions, <clears throat> the world's going to be a different place for you. It's going to be a different place. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, mm -hmm. hold on real quick. Yes, family, sorry about that. I got to get, I got to do a live stream about vaccines now. <laughs> Yeah, you can make up for going over your balance. Hey, thank you, Queen Queen Ivy. Appreciate you. I remember. I remember that name. Yeah, peace to you. <clears throat> thank you, Jason, for saying he's spitting straight truth, my people, from experience. And this is my first time listening to this. That's what's up. If you have to, you start with a secure card. <clears throat> if you have to, you start with a secure card. <clears throat> By any means necessary. I would get one secure card from a banking institution. It can be Wells Fargo. I don't like them. Capital One or Chase. I get one from a banking institution and another from let's say discovery one attached to a banking institution and one not attached to a banking institution <clears throat> and that's when you put your own money on the card but it still is identified as credit so yeah if you have to do 500 fine but instead of doing two 500 dollar cards i would rather you do a 1000 dollar card and work your way up but you should when you do the $1,000 secure card, you should do everything in your highest power to eventually get it up to about two, three thousand. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Noez Newton said, my UPS mailbox shot me up 32 points alone. Thank you. <clears throat> I love when y'all do that. I love when you confirm. Let me get that. Let me get that. <laughs> Let me get that. That's what's up. I appreciate that. Like I said, it could take you as high as 50 points upward. That's everything. If you do all the different things I tell you, by the time you're done, you got well over 100 points added to your score. Then we start removing items, and then the score goes up. Next thing you know, you end up with another 200 points. Most times you get 200 points, yeah, you got a good score. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Help me find a black bank 
for business loans. You can go to One United Bank. They're located in Crenshaw, but you can set up an account online. One United. I'm real good friends with the CEO, Kevin Coley. There we go, Sam. Thank you for the testimonies. I've done this and my score is 758 now. I appreciate y'all. <clears throat> Fact 734. Facts. I've done this and my score is 758 now. Fact 734. I'm approaching 780. Then 800. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. It makes me feel good to see what y'all doing. And don't sleep on that landline. And then report the fact you got a landline. Add that to your report. <clears throat> set up a business and then add that to your report. That boosts your credit score. If you set up a business and you say, I'd like you to add this to my credit report, you get 25 damn points, maybe 50, depending on what type of point business you got. It's unbelievable. Y'all doing things that's worthy of points. And then when you need a business loan or you want to apply for a black card, you don't have a slim file. You have a full file because you show that you're a business owner. Your business ain't got to be active so long as you just have a business on file. It adds to your portfolio. <clears throat> you feel me? 753 in the house. That's right. Start, start identifying y'all by your new credit scores from taking the course. I appreciate y'all listening. I got the landline. Got to get it added to my report. Great. What about rental payments? That's good for you too. That helps. I need help. I'm at 526. Get that course. It's 225. All worth it. <clears throat> I use your balance transfer strategy score. I use your balance transfer strategy. Score shot up 40 points. Thank you, Demarcus Hedger. Let me take that one. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so imagine combining balance transfer option with address, with landline. Those three alone can get you in the proximity of 100 points. In the proximity of 100 points. Thank y'all. This is a good stream. Make sure y'all read these comments. <laughs> How do you add business to my credit report? When y'all look... When y'all review this, y'all see that I'm actually answering the questions that's here. Uh, we have a template for that. So what you got to do is go to, you got to, when you get the course, I have plenty of templates for that. I actually read that on one of these free classes. So if you do enough digging, I don't know which class it is, but it's not too long ago on a live stream on Facebook where I read off the actual template for you to add data to your credit report. Okay, but you should still take the course and I could just fine tune what you might write, but you can be creative and still work out, but you always want to be all wise right in this act when you send these things out. Thank you, Noez. I appreciate that. Y'all asking easy ass questions. Hey. <clears throat> okay, look at this. Mark Queen D. Alberti. You know what he said? He said, thank you for everything. I made six figures this year from everything you're teaching. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Appreciate you. You see? So what's $225 if you're going to get access to six figures? That's what I'm talking about when I'm teaching this information. Yeah, it's brother polite. Check your email. <laughs> I'm going to. It's brother P-O-L-I-J-H-T 45 at gmail.com. And do me a favor. Save the video. And let people know. There's a, there, I'm, every week I do free credit information. Every week I do that for free. And I also have it where we crunch the numbers. And I'm about to give y'all a free for all Q&A where all of y'all can come in. Once I'm done with the course, the new software I got, I can let like 100 of y'all in. And I can have y'all go online and ask your questions or leave your comments. I'm ready to go hard. Because I don't want to leave no stone unturned. Because I believe... if. I contribute to people's advancement economically, then if we have to pool our funds to do something bigger and greater, it should be no problem. Everybody got an extra 10 grand. 
If everybody got an extra 10 grand, we good money. Because truthfully be told, it's 10,000 people agree with something in our community. It's several sets of 10,000 people who have $5 every week. And if 10,000 people will agree about the same scenarios that need funding in our community, if 10,000 people put $5 up a week, then in 10 months we have $2 million. They say white man is the devil. Okay, cool. 10,000 of y'all have $5 a week that petition the white man is the devil, you can do something. 10,000 of y'all don't like the school system, don't like the political structure. 10,000 people, $5 a week, 10 months, $2 million. Let's make sure you have the $5 every week by making sure you get six figures <clears throat> so no one can complain that they don't have the $5 every week, $20 a month. See how simple that is? Thank you. Just share it to your page. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that puts you in next gen, Katrina. You go over 800, you put you in proximity of what they call next gen status. Definitely. I did something on credit card redlining today as well in the course. You check that out. <clears throat> Always leave your full name and your phone number. That helps. I got to get ready to do a vaccine uh, class. <laughs> Just got an Apple credit card. Yeah, it's, it's good. Apple credit card is good. They damn near Illuminati. <clears throat> but once you start accepting credit cards, do your best when you're building this new credit paradigm for yourself to establish yourself at no more than two credit cards. It's, and don't take a new card after two if you already owe money. Don't owe money for a credit card and then get a new one. <clears throat> yes, sign it up. Peace, Natalie Johnson. I see you new here. Peace to you. <laughs> Definitely check it out from the beginning. Okay, y'all. So I had a lot of fun. I appreciate you. Yep, we're not in wild Miami no more. Party's over. Or <laughs> well, did it just begin doing the knowledge? Did it just begin doing the knowledge? Yes, you'll be able to keep it forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Yes. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you for listening. Peace and many blessings. Peace and many blessings. Babe. Um, brought to my attention by the defendant that... Hey. They knocking, I'm knocking. Judge Judy's knocking, I'm knocking. Mr. Dennis. Yes. You say you're hungry, I'm, about to, I'm, I'm ready to go. I don't recall a date. You getting up or you don't feel like it anymore? Uh, we had just got her at that time. And my huh? This would be right. a year ago. One year ago. Peace, family. Enjoy the stream. You still want to go eat or no? Yeah, you still want to eat or no? <laughs> of course, no one will say no. Y'all damn near dead. Wake him up from the day, you say food. You think these people starving in here? Yeah. No cooking today, man. I'm too busy. I don't only be cooking. I'm a baby girl. Woke up from the dead to get some damn food. You think I'm starving this girl right here. This girl act like I'm starving her. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, get mommy. <clears throat> oh, just play it back. Stay on Brother Polite. Facebook.com forward slash Brother Polite, and this will be available. 
give it like three minutes and it'll be available to you. As far as joining the course, like I said, it's $225 discounted rate. It's presently going on. Anything you miss, you'll be able to review it. Anything coming up, you'll know the itinerary of events. We just had an amazing class today. Peace to y'all. That's my brother calling me now. I got to get on another live. I'll be talking about vaccines now. Peace.